welcome back to my channel. A uh, huge welcome to everybody who's recently subscribed. Thank you so much for your support. Um, today I am fishing on Lower Bolfrax on the River Tay. It's the last day of the season here on the River Tay for salmon. So uh, I, th I needed to come down anyway. To, uh, roughly about 10 to 12 days ago, I fished it on the River Stincher and I haven't been able to fish um, up here on the Tay uh, or anywhere really in most of Scotland because of the massive um, rainstorms that we've had, uh, three or four days worth of solid rain, lots of flooding, uh, lots of water pushing into the river, flooding, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, today, river has dropped uh, considerably, um, so it's cut and it's still flowing uh, really, really nicely, and it's flowing clear. There's no, um, uh, there's no colour in the water. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna. This morning, I'm gonna put the uh, spinning rod through, um, uh, through this section called Neils, which I fished before, uh, and then we're gonna have a barbecue. Oh, with brilliant. Uh, thanks, Jim. And then. Um, uh, after lunch, I might try the spinning rod, um, the uh, fly rod. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, please understand I record fishing videos regardless of whether or not I catch a fish. For me, it's all about the experience of the day, uh, getting out on this amazing countryside, trying new things, going different places, and meeting up with friends. Um, if you if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give me a massive thumbs up. And if you're new, please do subscribe. Uh, and if you want to support my channel, uh, you can donate via the super thanks button there in the player. All right, cool. Thanks very much, everybody. Take uh, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Proper job. Well, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Cornish Chris, last day of the River Tay salmon season. The uh, 14th of October, uh, with the season ends on the 15th of October. So, and that just happens to fall on a Sunday. Yeah, so just enjoying being out and fishing the margins, really, and. Although I've been casting out into the middle, I'm trying to fish down the side of this pool. This is Neil's, uh, Neil's pool, and uh, it's um, particularly good on the spinner, so I'm told. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll give the give the spinner a go this morning, and then after lunch, I might break out the fly rod. Just the, the difficulty is it's got a really, really strong wind as well, so... Boom. Yeah, halfway down the pool now. Beautiful day. Sheltered in here on this bank. Beautiful, lovely autumn colours, leaves are turning orange and brown and amazing. I just, I finished, whoa! <laughs> right, let's start that again. Okay, so I finished at Neil's pool. Uh, met a couple of people who watch my videos, which is really nice. He said, he said his name was uh, Craig and Rory, I think. Uh, uh, nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Getting close to uh, one o'clock now. Going to go down and have a barbecue. Should be really nice. That's the end of season thing.
Right, that was that was lunch. Barbecue, lovely. Load of people here for closing day. Nice to meet some familiar faces from when I fished at Tolkien in the uh, start of the year. And uh, met some uh, new people as well who watch my videos. Uh, Craig, Rory and Gordon. Uh, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for the support. So just dropped Theo in the car because I'm going to wade over to the island and whilst he is pretty good in the water I'm just a little bit concerned it just might be a bit too fast flowing for him bless him because he went in after a leaf a minute ago and got out the got got out of the river 10 feet below where he went in 20 feet or so so I just want to make sure it's not too uh, too fast for him it's quite safe he says Yeah, it's just, just, it'll be just here where it would be too strong for him. And it would send the wrong signals as well, because I want him to stay on the bank. I don't want him to follow me out wading. And then if I go and wade and then encourage him to come out with me, then uh, I think that's sending the, the wrong signals. Any joy? No. So <clears throat> right well uh, that was a lovely lunch didn't want to step away from the fire pit but uh, let's get back onto the river get some more fishing in gonna stick with the spinning rod for now um, that's the general consensus of everybody on the bank most of whom 
do uh, fly fishing uh, is stick with the spinning spinning rod. So my setup is 11 foot uh, Shakespeare agility spinning rod. Um, we've got this Ninja reel, Ninja 3000 or something on it, which I understand is you know it's not it's not like a the best reel in the world. But I rarely spin, so as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, it's good enough. And then I've got a 50 pound braid. Got a swivel at the front, and then there's 20 pound breaking strain chameleon leader, uh, and then there's a 20 gram copper toby. So. That's my setup. As I said, Theo's in the car, and he'll probably be in the car for a little while until I get back onto the bank, and then he can come back out with me again. There's a lot of fishermen here uh, for the last day, closing day. So, it was uh, really nice to meet everybody, very friendly. You know, with some food, something to drink, lovely. A perfectly good, enjoyable day. They're already talking about opening day, 15th of January. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be here in the, in the 15th of January for uh, opening day. I mean, I have been invited, but um, there's just no way. Because I'm, you know, there'll be nowhere to stay, probably. Most of the caravan sites aren't. Uh, aren't open in January so oh, I mean a few are of course but uh, it's coming up here in January with the van which uh, is something I don't really want to do be too cold up here for this soft southerner and you couldn't get more southern So have you guys managed to get yourselves out? When this video comes out, probably be roughly the middle of November. So how has your season progressed? Has it been full of highs? I met a chap earlier called Craig who said he's got seven salmon in this year. It's like, ah, oh. you can soon go off people, you know. Um, yeah, how's your season gone? What are you, what are you looking forward to doing next season? Put it in the comments section. Always love to know what people are up to. It's because I'm nosy. <laughs> Can I say also a huge thank you and welcome to everybody who's recently subscribed to my channel. It's just crazy. Well, not crazy. I don't know. I love it, but it's crazy to think that. Uh, what started two years ago in a very niche area and you guys are wanting to watch it which is so so cool thank you so much really appreciate it and also uh, say thank you a uh, huge thank you actually to those people who've been very kind and donated to my channel using the super thanks button you know that's really cool as well It's a plane. Not that it doesn't feel like it's very high up. up.
right, I think that's it for me. Uh, just coming on for five o'clock. Uh, been here all day, had a good time. Once again, here at Lower Bolfrax. And um, yeah, it's been good fun, uh, despite using the spinning rod. <laughs> um, I don't know why spinning just, it just makes me so tired. Uh, I don't get this tired when I'm fishing with the salmon rod, with the fly rod. Um, but still, anyway, good time had. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you can support me, support the channel uh, and my exploits through the uh, through donations, through super thanks. Um, but uh, otherwise, guys, thanks so much for your continued support and I've got more videos to follow. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Proper job.